Hi what's up everyone, in this video we're going to talk about the top best G-Sync gaming monitor you can buy on Amazon. This list is based on my personal opinion and research and lists them based on quality features and pricing. If you want more information and updated pricing on the products mentioned be sure to check the links in the description below. The best G-Sync monitors will help you get the most from your NVIDIA GPU of choice. You could soon be packing one of the newly released Ampere RTX 30 series graphics cards, but unless you've got a decent monitor to show off those glorious graphics, you're not going to be getting the ultimate gaming experience from your investment. So, anyway, what does G-Sync mean? You've undoubtedly seen gaming monitors proudly display that they're G-Sync ready or G-Sync compliant. G-Sync is the adaptive sync technology of NVIDIA, which drops dedicated silicon into a monitor to minimize screen tearing and stuttering display. I have prepared this video guide for the best G-Sync gaming monitor to give you the ins and outs to help you make the right choice. So let's get started. 5 colon view, Sonic Elite XG270 QG. The view Sonic Elite XG270 QG is the best G-Sync monitor we have reviewed. This is a well-built model with a design that blends into every office or gaming setup. The stand provides outstanding ergonomics, and you should not have any problems putting it in an ideal position for viewing. It offers excellent gaming performance. Its native 144Hz refresh rate can easily be overclocked to 165Hz, and the G-Sync support allows it to drop to 20Hz, and like most monitors, it only supports VRR over a display port connection. It has an outstanding response time at its max refresh rate that stays really quick even at 60Hz. It has a black frame insertion feature to help clear up motion blur, but it can't be used with G-Sync enabled. Input lag is incredibly low, and even though it increases at 60Hz, it shouldn't be noticeable to most people. The 1440p resolution delivers clear and crisp images, and the IPS panel has wide viewing angles, making it an ideal choice for co-op gaming. It does not help with HDR, sadly, and our device has low out-of-the-box color accuracy, but this can vary between units. It also has a low contrast ratio, which from an IPS panel is expected. It has great additional features to set the mood in your gaming setup, such as a USB hub, built-in speakers, and RGB lighting on the back. There's not a lot to worry about, making it the best display we've tested for G-Sync. 4 colon LG 32 GK 850G The LG 32 GK 850GB is a decent choice if you want anything bigger than a 27-inch screen. It has the same resolution of 1440p as the ViewSonic Elite XG270 QG, but it has a lower density of pixels, and the images are not as crisp. It also has no large viewing angles, but its VA panel offers a much better contrast ratio that provides deep blacks instead. Thanks to its excellent response time, incredibly low input lag, and like the ViewSonic, the 144Hz refresh rate can also be overclocked to 165Hz. It's perfect for gaming. The response time is very fast, even when gaming at 60 Hz, and the input lag remains low, but there is no black frame insertion feature. Unfortunately, HDR does not endorse it, and it has minimal ergonomics, so it might be hard to find an ideal screen location. It doesn't have many external features, but it does have a two-port USB hub that allows fast charging. If you're looking for the best G-Sync monitor, you should be satisfied with the ViewSonic, but if you prefer a bigger screen, then look into the LG. 3 colon Dell AW3420DW the Dell Alienware AW3420DW is the best G-Sync display with an ultra-wide screen. This is a well-built model, and it has a good stand considering its large size that enables a wide range of swivel and tilt. It cannot rotate to portrait mode, but due to its ultra-wide format and curved screen, that is somewhat anticipated. It has a native 120Hz refresh rate, and it supports adaptive sync, allowing you to use free sync when connected to a compatible source over a display port connection. The response time at its max refresh rate is excellent, resulting in minimal motion blur, and it's also great at 60 Hz. Sadly, it doesn't have a black frame insertion feature to clear up motion blur. Its input lag is also really low, and it stays low with VRR enabled, which is great. It has an IPS panel that provides wide viewing angles, and if you also want to use it for photo editing, it has an outstanding color gamut with excellent coverage of the Adobe RGB color space. Unfortunately, it has a poor contrast ratio, so when viewed in the dark, blacks look dull. It also doesn't help HDR, and due to its mediocre reflection handling, it doesn't get bright enough to fight glare if you try to use it in really bright rooms. However, it has some good additional features, such as RGB lighting and a USB hub. All in all, this is the best G-Sync display we've tested in the ultra-wide band. 2 colon BenQ EL2870U 
The BenQ EL2870U is a killer budget 4K monitor. It's a high quality, robust model for starters, but it also boasts 4K and HDR support. Plus, it's very affordable. It's just a TN panel, which means you're dealing with small viewing angles, but in other areas, it makes up for this. At 1 millisecond, his reaction rate competes with the best of them. With one press of a button, the HDR can also be turned on slash off dot since it regularly goes on sale for less than its already reasonable list price. If your search is limited to free sync monitors, then this would be our top 4K pick, and a challenge for our top overall pick. 1. Acer Predator Z35P Check out the Acer Predator Z35P if you play in dark environments and want a display that shows deep blacks. It doesn't have wide viewing angles like the Dell Alienware AW3420DW, which is expected from a VA panel. Instead, it has a decent contrast ratio and, for FPS games, you can add crosshairs on the frame. Like the Dell, the 100Hz refresh rate can't be overclocked to 120Hz, yet it still has outstanding motion handling and an exceptionally low input lag. It has decent color accuracy out of the box, decent peak brightness, and fantastic handling of reflection. Sadly, it doesn't help HDR, and since there's noticeable backlight bleeding, it has low black uniformity. It's also well built, on the upside, and its ergonomics are not terrible for an ultra-wide one dot if you want the best ultra-wide G-Sync monitor that we've tested. Look into the Dell, but if you prefer something with a VA panel for a better contrast ratio, the Acer is a good choice. So guys this was the video about the best G-Sync gaming monitor. All the links are given in the description, do check them out. If you enjoyed the video be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thank you.